All right, two more episodes of 86. You guys know what that means. Two more episodes of Depression Simulator. Let's do this. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Dapper Darius back at it again with episodes 7 and 8 of 86. The first one is called Will You Remember Me? Last episode, we ended off with Jerome telling Lena that the Spearhead has a new plan to get rid of a Legion base they are currently building, which should be a trap. But uh, Shin decided he's going to go do it himself. And we found out a little more backstory about the Shepherds, the Black Sheep, and how Shin is currently looking for show rays head literally decapitated head so no idea what's going on with that we lost daya and Lekka. r.i.p to them I, i'm gonna be very sad for whoever we lose else throughout this show but i'm anticipating it and i'm going into it with that mindset it's like i'm watching attack on titan it truthfully is I'm ready for it though. I'm eager to find out what happens in these two episodes. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below, like always for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. 86 episodes 7 and 8. The first one is called Will You Remember Me? Let's do this. All right, August 25th. It's been about another month. Looks like we're lighting off some fireworks. Having some sort of celebration, whatever we can, you know. She's crying. Anju. R.I.P. to Daya. Some, somebody commented. I didn't see who it was. I apologize. But that, especially after Cujo and everything that happened with Cujo, Daya kind of took up the, the post as the oldest, the big brother type of role. So him him passing was a, a huge hit to the squad. Makes a lot of sense. I'm wondering what Shin was saying right there. The silented out fireworks, the muted out. Oh, super well done. They're like, wait, you want us to send actual stuff to the 86s? What are you? Oh, oh, that's the box that we just were doing with the fireworks. So she went out of her way to get them fireworks, you know, so they could celebrate special ammunition. The revolution. It makes sense why they would have an excess of fireworks, especially the revolution festival, you know? The transitions and the cuts between past and present and flashbacks and trauma, I should say, in this show are so well done. Like, you really can't even tell, and then boom, it just hits you. Meanwhile, we're just eating delicacies, drinking wine. They're explaining how their bodies get ripped out and uh, the, the difference between scenarios and lifestyles right now is so well done. The visual storytelling, I'm telling you. She's literally having struggles not throwing up in the middle of them, you know? That's the saddest way any of us could die at any time. That's, that's their way of life right now. We still have that box with all our deceased members. He's going to Unk. Like, bro, Jerome, we need some help. I get what you're saying, but we need some help with these 86ers, you know? No, they're, they're, they're actually giving them supplies? I thought they would decline them. Deny them. Interesting, okay. She still has her para raid on at all times. I like it, you know. She didn't call, so Shin's checking in. Yes, Shin, for once, I'm having a good time. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm having a good time. I'm at, a, I'm at a festive, you know. I'm at a festivity. Damn, it really shows. Oh, it really shows a scale of distance. That is a very optimistic dream right there. That was a very hopeful dream. I hope for that as well. When the war is over, you can, when you leave the army, let's watch them together. Have a great time. Yes, good. Yep. It's good that she was finally able to let some of that out. Damn, that's big. 
And knowing Shin, he would be the type to want to remember everyone. They all deserve a legacy, you know? Will you remember us as well? That's so sad. It's the title of this episode, man. They all will die. And it's only going to be Lena left. I mean, damn, man. That's about to make me goddamn tear up just from hearing that. Before that, I won't let you die, though. Woo. Heck yeah. Shin and all of them are staying alive, man. Will you remember me? Ooh, that was sad. That was way too sad. I need happiness, man. Come on. I gotta remember her name, the girl with the red hair. Because she still has, of everyone, still has the most issue with Lena, you know? Especially because she likes Shin and her and, her and Shin, you know? That you should quit. You shouldn't do this anymore. I wonder what her tattoo is on the back. And I think I recognize Anju's voice actor. Is that... Is that Shinobu? It sounds like Shinobu Kocho from Demon Slayer. That's nice. Because she's hiding... She's growing it out to hide something on her back, but he's turning that into something pretty, you know? Something beautiful. Super sad. <sighs> but they will always live on in our hearts, you know? That transition from the water dripping to the blood dripping. Who did she see die? <sighs> that is the saddest thing to think, but some somewhat of a hope light at the end of the tunnel for them, you know? No matter what happens to us, the Reaper, Shin, will always be there. He'll take us to the end, he'll cross us over that threshold. But who will be there for him, you know? Who's gonna be the Undertaker, the Reaper for him? The, the cuts between the action that we're at right now and the fireworks from their celebratory. What are those scorpion mortars coming out of the clouds? What is that? They're getting bombarded. I was just about to say, but honestly, this show has some of the most beautiful cinema, cinema, whatever I'm trying to say, shots I've ever seen, but in such a sad way, like truthfully, some of the most beautiful cinematography I've ever laid my eyes upon. It's the very sad truth of it. Yep, not a single one, ever. <sighs> that is the ultimate, ultimate sad, horrific truth. That they are literally fodder. That's what was in the... Okay, and the that came with the special ammo earlier. Oh yeah, you're never going to end your term. You're never going to get out of the war, you know. That five years and you're out thing is bait, 100%. Yep. When you think about it like that, I wonder why they don't do that, you know? Like, the Albu, the people who conscripted them are horrible, you know? Alba, I said Albu. <sighs> That's the biggest struggle. Yeah, they've all said this before. They know not all the Alba are bad, you know. Knows the very worst. Damn, this is this is super. This is the this is so rough, you know. Eighty sixes are good and bad people. Alba are good and bad people, you know. This is just a horrible situation. That's pretty much. I respect it. They decided who they were going to be and the morals and the ethics that they were going to fight for, you know? Just because scum treats you like scum doesn't make the same, you know, doing the same makes you know better. I respect it. That's the harder path. That's the tougher path. Shouts out Raiden. Shouts out all of them for their resolve. Damn. See, look how sad this is, but that is literally a gorgeous shot. Even if you know you're going to the gallows, all you can do is choose how you're going to climb up there. This man is speaking bars. It sounds fucking crazy, but I would, I wish I could go fight with them, you know? Kind of like Ervin in Attack on Titan, and they end it right there. 
I would follow these men to the end of, you know, end of days. These men deserve it. All right, on to the next episode, episode eight. This one's called Let's Go. So still 27th. There's so much details and so much in-depthness when it, when it comes to Shin and when it comes to the Black Shepherd or the Black Sheep and the Shepherd Commanders, you know? So I'm so curious what's going to happen, you know? Ooh. Is anyone stupid enough to hang themselves before they die? Okay, <laughs> no. Oh my god, I just got literal goosebumps, literal chills all up my arms. That transition. I'm telling you. Spearhead version 12, version 10, version 13. They've had this specific unit die over and over and over. Bro, the cuts in the show. The transitions in this show. It's the next day, 28th. I love the difference between Lena and Annette. You know, it's the two different ideologies when it comes to this. They're finally starting to reach a breaking point, you know. I get both sides completely. They're both the exact opposite ends of the spectrum, whereas Annette thinks they can't do anything and they're powerless due to the overwhelming resources and majority structure of their said system and their government. Meanwhile, Lena is the exact opposite, where it only makes it only takes one person to make a difference and, and change these lives because she knows that Shorei was that one person in her life to make that difference. So she believes that she can do that for these people. And I completely understand both sides. Like, I know people to this day and, and my IRL friends who will not vote because they feel like they, their individual vote cannot make a difference. But there is that side of it. And there also is the conglomerate of that. Like, each individual vote has the power to build up, to take over, you know. So it's, it's, a, it's a very deep and talked about discussion that they're having. They're tackling it very well. And I don't know what side I'm on. Obviously, I love Lena. I want her to succeed. But I don't. Mm -hmm. And they were on dad's research team. So they were as like as high up as they come, you know. So she has some sort of personal investment as well. Wow. This show tackles some topics, I'll tell you. That transition same exact house back then he she does not mean that at all but social pressure anxiety you know i think that's one of the biggest examples right there of i mean obviously we're talking about racism because they are a race of people the 86s you know they're a race they're discriminating against all non-alba you know, versus, and obviously the topic is racism, but I, I think this is super adherent to the point that racism is not inherently learned. You know, well, it's not inherent to a person. It's something that's taught. Like, um, before Annette had an even concept of that, you know, she just saw him as a friend. But then once this has idea and mentality has been put in her mind, that's when she thought that. And then she said it herself, she was afraid of how she could even think like that. Like, society and, and pressure changes someone, and, and the, it's, it's crazy. I could, we could have guests on here, we could talk about this discussion particularly for hours, but this show touches on some, on some shit. She's been justifying it to herself the whole time. Damn. Meanwhile, Lena's the ideal version of Annette, the person who would never do like that. You may act like a saint, you know? Yeah, but you'd probably do the same. You're just as guilty as me. Annette is the Lena before the, the war and the shit affected her. You know, there's a... Mm. It's kind of like the boys. Have you ever seen the boys? Like, being in the business, being in this industry changes you. It fucks with you. Really? Is that like an actual tangible thing? Oh, the parade. This is where it started? They have an innate 
sensory sharing kind of that's crazy I don't even want to think about it if I'm honest with you Annette why are you trying to break this woman why she's trying to so she's trying to ruin her saint like ideal oh my god She has just been telling herself this for so long, you know? That's a very wrong, roundabout way of looking at it, but there are points to that that have truth behind them, but... Jesus. I thought they were... Oh, that's been... So, oh my god, that's been a boiling point kind of thing built up for a minute that's this show bro september 10th so it's been another two weeks damn near a special re yeah this is their orders to die he just flat out says it no more hiding Uh-huh. That's the issue with the world. Everyone's getting fed up with Lena's idealism, you know? Her optimism. They're like, they're like, they're literally screaming, Lena, grow up. This is not the way the world works. But that is true. They are just saying that to justify their issues. You're free to speak, of, but you won't persuade anyone. That I firmly agree with, you know. And even he won't do anything for her. So you know no other military member will help Lena at all. She is alone. She is alone. I love this shot right now with the reflection of the cars and everything on the window. You said they're not going to die? I said this probably a hundred times throughout the show, but this is a rough situation, you know? He's got to kill his brother who's working. <laughs> God damn. He cut it. No more communicating with with uh, our 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 spearhead unit. Gave final instructions, and he's out of here. God damn, man! September twenty seventh. So another two weeks, damn near. It's the last time, so just lie and agree. It's so sad. This is just a. Everyone knows, you know. They like erase the chalkboard. It's raining, you know, the clouds are all gray and dreary. Aw, cute kitty. This really does feel like goodbye, which is super sad right now, you know? With the music, them doing these final, uh, turning the lights off. If this was like the end of the show, I'd be butthurt. I'd be like, wow, they really are about to die. The next day. Wow. How many people we've lost? All five of us. Damn, with their... With the marks on them and everything too. Nice and clean, you know? For their final mission. <laughs> Oh, there's soup hearing that from Shin. That's adorable. Snacks for the road. From the rest of the squadron. Aldrich and the boys.
Let's go. Title of this episode. This literally feels like we're all about to die. This is so sad. The walls are clean. Fridge got unplugged. Everything's barren. This is they're getting ready for the next squad. You know, they're they're hanging like the gallows, the last five on their final day, you know. What the hell is this is only episode eight. We have like 20 more episodes left. Are they gonna die? We're gonna get a new squad for a spearhead? What God damn. Oh, that is Robot Shorei for sure. Oh, he's picturing the day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Casualty notification. He, he's having this flashback as well, and Shorei's telling himself to stop. He knows he, he regrets this. Oh, my God. That's their father. I'm guessing mom was just. Oh wow! Oh my god! He's like un. He's like out cold. He choked him so hard with the drawing. He's supposed to be the big brother superhero, you know. And he woke up as a Legion member. We'll be together forever. Oh hell no! He is a shepherd, actually. Hell no. Hell no, this is... Ooh, this is crazy. This is very crazy. Well, these two episodes were actually insane. I was shocked multiple times. I don't even kind of know what to say right now. I really... That's the thing about this show in particular. I feel like it's similar to Attack on Titan. To where, if I was like re-watching it or something, I could write down a whole bunch of topics and discussions and talk with you guys for like an hour about it. But because it's my first time watching it, I'm so hooked in on the show itself. I can not write down anything because I don't want to miss anything. And then I just by the end of it, I'm like, holy, there's like 75 things that happen. What is what? Where do we start? You know, so I mean, I guess the first episode being called Will You Remember Me? I'm going to say this 100 times probably, but it's just super sad how they're talking about no matter. I mean, their ultimate end goal is death. So it's just their decision on how they can get to there and what their legacy stands for up until that point. And I like what Karina said, you know, like no matter how we go or when we go, Shin will always be there to take us over to the next side. He's the Reaper. He's our Reaper, you know, but who's going to be the Reaper? Who's going to take care of him when he eventually dies? And then everything that's going on with Shorei right now is just, it's so sad. And it's crazy to know Shorei being the Shepherd is the crazy one we just saw decimating the other 86ers a, a little bit ago. Though he is super strong. I don't know, man. This is super crazy. Ugh. This episode being called Let's Go, where it feels very final and us going to go stop them. Aldrich, everyone was like, this is our final mission. The, I think the biggest thing for me, honestly, was Lena and, and her realizations this episode. Like, Jerome and Annette have had enough of her ideals. Like, stop passing this goody-goody two-shoes saint-like bullshit on me, Lena. Stop it. That's what they're saying. I'm not saying that. But Annette hurt the most because Lena is like Annette before Annette got to see the dark, sad side of this world. War world and war. I tried to combine both words at the same time. But... It's so sad how I don't want to say quickly because it wasn't it obviously wasn't quick. It was quick. It was very quick, but also it was how quickly Annette was able to turn on her friend and turn against the 86 and how much even after what it's been like it's had to have been like 20 years. She's what assuming in her mid 20s, maybe early. I don't know. She you can tell that's been eating at her this whole time. So constantly seeing Lena and saying, hey, I want to change. I want to do all this positive. Go, you know, like I. I obviously don't think Annette really does hate Lena, but I totally see why it's like, get like, oh my god, it's so complicated. And if I was like Lena and Annette's friend, I wouldn't know how to come at. But this, oh my, this is just such a complicated show. This show is so well done. This might be up there with like, I'm trying to think of complex like seinen style shows where the subject matter 
is so deep that you could like i'm saying you could talk about it for hours I think this is up there for me in one of those. This is easily up there, like with like Attack on Titan, Shinsekai Yori, Steins Gate, some other just like super, super deep topics that we could talk about for a long time. I'm trying to think of any other crazy ones, like, you know, but I'm sure there are other, but it's like, damn, bro, this show has me just questioning my life, has me questioning my moral ethics, my <laughs> everything. I don't know. I got, I'm excited to hop into these next episodes, though. The next one's called Goodbye. I didn't even notice that until now. I really don't like the way that's that's called. But then we get on to, we have supposedly, yeah, it goes episode 22, 20, oh no, 22 is an OVA coming this year. Oh, so it goes episode 21. This is gonna be crazy, it's gonna be crazy. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell somebody you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.